$2,500. Outrageous, huh? The cargo, 488 tons of high-grade iron ore, was worth $13,500 at the time the ship went down. Cargo was worth more than the vessel. You can see some gravel-like substance on the deck here. Remains of the salvage operation. We get out the East Channel, we're going to show you some bigger chunks of iron ore. Separate shipwreck, the M.M. Drake. Now this thing's 135 feet long, 26 feet wide, fully intact, sitting on the bottom leg superior. It's been down there over 140 years. It's going to be down there for thousands of years. And the reason I can say something like that, about 20 years ago, Captain Pete was diving out the East Channel. The man was in about 20 feet of water when he came across two tree stumps still rooted to the bottom of Lake Superior. They'd been there long before lake levels ever got this high. Curious fellow, so he took some samples and sent them in. The carbon dates came back 7,910 years old. The wood was still identifiable as white birch. So if white birch can last for 8,000 years, submerged under the cold waters of Lake Superior, just think how long white oak is gonna last. Captain Teresa and I call that job security. That's what that's called. Not a whole lot of that left anymore these days. The rectangular shape below us right now is the centerboard hatch. There would have been a winch mounted right up above that to raise and lower that centerboard into the trunk that's built into the hull of the ship. Once again, centerboard 40 feet long, 8 feet tall. This narrow opening ends the centerboard trunk. About four feet away from that is the front or forward cargo hatch. Another loading area for this vessel. Now from this point forward, it gets closer to us all the way out to the bow. Bilge pump hole is going to be next, 12 inches in diameter. Manually pump water from the hull of the ship from that location. Anytime she took on water from rough seas or heavy rainstorms. That second one, the larger one, is the foremast hole. And it is three feet in diameter. Sweeping quarters for two, probably the two guys at the low end of the total pole. Right in the front of that boat would have been a little bit rougher than the right in the back. So seniority had its advantages even back in those days. But picture anchor chains coming out of these Hansai rings here. Anchor sitting right there on the deck of the ship. side rail over there. It's also broken on this side. Believed to have been done by the salvage company when they towed this ship over here. They would have wrapped huge chains and straps around that tow post to get it over here. Then you have the bow of the ship, the metal strapping right up over the front of it. It stands 20 feet tall right there. You can look right straight down. Looks like you can reach up and touch it. That is six feet below our viewing walls. Pretty awesome sight, huh? Okay, we're gonna.